Hello guys, welcome back. Now today, I'm going to be ranking every NHL team's best draft pick over the past 10 years. Now we've seen some big draft busts come for the draft in the past few years, but at the same time, we've seen some fantastic young players come for the draft and playing fantastic. So what are the best players who come from the draft in the past decade, and what are every NHL team's best pick of the last 10 years? Watch till the end to find out. Now, a couple of days ago, I made a video just like this one, but about the worst draft picks for every team in the last 10 years. For the most part, it was a lot of first round picks, and that was about it. But when it comes to this one, we have first round picks, we got all the way down to seventh round picks. It's a lot more varied and a lot more fun. Now, just like that video, we'll be going for alphabetical order of the teams, Anaheim all the way down to Winnipeg, 1, 2, 3, 1. And when it comes to Anaheim Ducks getting into their best draft pick of the past 10 years, I have John Gibson. He is a goaltender, age 26, American, who was drafted 39th overall back in the 2011 NHL draft. He has played 236 games up to this point in his NHL career, and has gotten a 921 save percentage across his career. I'm personally a big fan of John Gibson. In my opinion, he is the best goaltender in the world. World right now. Fantastic goal state above average. An absolutely fantastic goaltender. That's carried Anaheim for the past few years now and likely will next season too. Moving on to the Arizona Coyotes and for their best draft pick, we're going to go all the way back to the 2009 NHL draft in Oliver Ekman Larson. He's a defenseman at age 28 now. Swedish foreign guy. He was drafted at 6th overall back in the 2009 NHL draft. So far in his career, he has played 657 games, getting 334 points, but also just being a fantastic defenseman in general. Some of you guys know I love me some Oliver Ekman Larson, so for him, it was pretty much a no-brainer to have him as the best draft pick. Of course, the captain in Arizona, the leader in Arizona, and the best player in Arizona. Moving on to the Boston Bruins, and for their best draft pick of the past decade, I have David Pasternak. He's a right winger, age 23, Czech Republic born, who's drafted 25th overall back in the 2014 NHL draft. He so far has played 320 games already, getting 284 points. And I love me some David Pasternak. And Boston has had some fantastic draft selections in the past 10 years, but to me, David Pasternak is the piece of the resistance right there. He's absolutely fantastic. Already so young, but already so good. Moving on to the Buffalo Sabres, a team that has not had the greatest draft history in the past 10 years, but they have one guy who's pretty decent, and that is Jack Geichel. He's a center at age 22, American who's drafted second overall behind Connor McDavid in the 2015 NHL draft. He so far has played 286 games in his career, getting 259 points. Very solid career up to this point that has been a little bit injury riddled. This past season was a big upgrade for him, and I think we'll see what he's really made of next season. For Buffalo, again, I don't think we've seen him reach his peak quite yet, but we will, and when he hits his peak, It'll be pretty scary. Moving on to the Calgary Flames, a team that's made some sneaky selections the past 10 years. And for the Calgary Flames' best draft pick, I have Johnny Goudreau. He's a left winger, age 25, American, who's drafted 104th overall back in the 2011 NHL draft. He so far has played 394 games in his career, getting 387 points. Not bad whatsoever. Not obviously, Goudreau is one of the best guys on Calgary, if not the best guy there. Offensively, one of the best in the league and one of the best Americans in hockey, period. Moving on to the Carolina Hurricanes, rocking out the bungee jerk shirt for them. And for the Canes' best pick of the past 10 years, I have Sebastian Ajo. He's a center at age 21, finished foreign player who was drafted 35th overall back in the 2015 NHL draft. And Ajo so far his career has played 242 games, getting 197 points. Absolutely fantastic for a guy that young, already having such a fantastic career. And we really haven't seen the peak of Sebastian Ajo. This past season, he was an absolute monster offensively. But I think we'll see him when he reach that next peak since he's now entered during his prime, and he'll be very dangerous, especially offensively. And moving on to the Chicago Blackhawks, and for my best Blackhawks pick of the past 10 years, I have Alex Dabrinkat. He's a right winger, age 21, American born, who's drafted 39th overall back in the 2016 NHL draft. Dabrinkat has had two full seasons in the NHL so far, getting 164 games played. In that time, he has gotten 128 points, not too shabby for a 21 year old. And Dabrinkat, again, one of the better Americans in the league right now, fantastic young guy, definitely one of the biggest steals from that 2016 draft, and the Chicago Blackhawks are obviously happy to have him alongside that Dylan Strome pairing, which is absolutely nasty. 
Moving on to the Colorado Avalanche, for my best ass pick of the past 10 years, I have Duncan Stevens. So obviously, it's Nathan McKinnon, a center age 23, Canadian who's got it first overall back in the 2013 NHL draft. And Nathan McKinnon so far in his career has played 456 NHL games, and in that time getting 402 points. Obviously, Nathan McKinnon, that first overall pick, he had a great rookie season, then the uh, last couple of years kind of summed a little bit. But these past two years have been absolutely fantastic. One of the best players in the entire world right now, if not one of the best centers in the entire world. And when it comes to David McKinnon, obviously he's one of the leaders there in Colorado, the leader of offense, and the leader of one of the best first lines in the NHL. Moving on to the Columbus Blue Jackets, for my best Jackets pick of the past 10 years, I have Pierre-Luc Dubois. He's a center at age 21, a Canadian who's drafted third overall back in the 2016 NHL draft, and Dubois so far has played 164 NHL games. In that time, he's gotten 109 points, but Dubois was kind of struggling the first couple of years, but this past season is where he really did explain at least to me offensively. He was a lot better and a lot more consistent. I think we'll see that in the next couple of years. As obviously with Columbus, they have guys like Artemi Panera and Matt Duchesne. All those guys leave. Pierre Dubois will get a lot more ice time and a lot more opportunity. Moving on to my favorite team, the Dallas Stars, for my best Stars pick of the past 10 years. There weren't many. I had John Klingberg. He's a defenseman at age 26. Swedish born guy who was drafted 131st overall back in the 2010 NHL draft. And Klingberg so far in his career has played 367 games. In that time, he's gotten 259 points, which is absolutely fantastic for a defenseman. Klingberg is one of my favorite defensemen in the entire league. One of the best offensive defensemen, maybe the best besides Eric Carlson right now. That's how good he is. I have his jersey. I love him. And basically, when it comes to Dallas, he was almost the obvious choice. Moving on to the Detroit Red Wings. For my best Detroit pick over the past 10 years, I have Dylan Larkin. He's a center at age 22, American who's drafted 15th overall back in the 2014 NHL draft. And Larkin so far in his career has played 318 games. In that time, he's gotten 213 points. Not shabby at all for a team that hasn't scored many goals in that time. And when it comes to Larkin, I think he's the next captain for Detroit. He's one of the leaders in that locker room. And for Detroit in that rebuild, that's the kind of guy you need. At age 22, He's still freaking fantastic and the best player on Detroit. Moving on to the Edmonton Oilers and maybe the least surprising pick in the history of this entire earth. I have Connor McDavid. He's a center at age 22, Canadian who was drafted first overall back in the 2015 NHL draft. And McDavid so far has played 287 games in his career, but 287 amazing games. He's gotten 302, uh, 372 get points, which is just absolutely mind-boggling. When it comes to Connor McDavid, yes, obviously he's the best pick for Edmonton. There may be a couple other guys, or like maybe Taylor Hall, I guess, but they obviously traded those guys away, so it doesn't really matter now. Connor McDavid, though, the franchise there, the captain for the Edmonton Oilers, and basically the only choice. Moving on to the Florida Panthers, and for my best Panthers pick of the past 10 years, I have Alexander Barkov. A center, age 23, finished born, drafted second overall back in the 2013 NHL draft, and he so far has played 413 NHL games, getting 345 points in the process, and Barkov is probably one of the more complete players in the NHL right now. He took a little bit of a step back defensively last season, but is still a very excellent defensive forward, and again, offense is certainly fantastic with him too. On the power play, on the even strength, he provides it all for the Florida Panthers. Oh, and also, he's a pretty good captain. Moving on to the LA Kings, and for the first player that has not played an NHL game to be on this list, for the best LA Kings draft pick, I have Alex Turcotte. He's a center at age 18, American who's drafted fifth overall in 2019 NHL draft. And you guys know I love me some Alex Turcotte. It was either between Tyler Toffoli or Alex Turcotte, and you know I'm going to pick my boy Alex Turcotte. He's absolutely fantastic. It might have been the third best prospect in the draft still up to this point. I'm not budging on that, and the LA Kings got a little bit of a steal at him. And again, I could choose Tyler Toffoli, he's a fine pick, but to me, Alex Turcotte is a franchise-changing center, and will be a first-line center for them in their future, which is what LA needs, and what LA wants. Now moving on to the Minnesota Wild, a team that quite frankly in the past 10 years has done a fantastic job at drafting. And for a best wild pick, I have Matt Dumba. He's a defenseman at age 24, a Canadian who was drafted 7th overall back in the 2012 NHL draft. And Matt Dumba has played 342 games to this point, getting 150 points. And he's just been fantastic in his career so far. That 2012 draft is absolutely terrible, one of the worst drafts of all time. But at 7th overall, Matthew Dumba was still able to carve out a very fantastic NHL career. And for the Minnesota Wild, they are very lucky that he is that good. Moving on to the Montreal Canadiens, Dean that has done 
meh drafting wise in a few years, but also fantastic draft wise in the last few. But when it comes to the best Montreal Canadiens draft pick of the past 10 years, I have Brendan Gallagher. He is a right winger, age 27, a Canadian who was drafted 147th overall back in the 2010 NHL draft. And so far in his career, he's played 488 games with the Habs, so far getting 291 points. And I'm a huge fan of Brendan Gallagher. I think he's one of the top right wingers in the NHL today. I think he's fantastic offensively, defensively. He's been great for Montreal, and if Shane Weber wasn't the captain, I think it would have gone to Brandon Gallagher. He's such a fantastic leader, and just such a great guy in general. But also, he's a pretty good hockey player. Moving on to the Nashville Predators, a team that's had some excellent picks in the past 10 years, but for my best Preds pick, I have Victor Arvidsson. He is a left winger, age 26, Swedish-born player who was drafted 112 overall back in the 2014 NHL draft, and Arvidsson has played 278 games at this point, getting 186 points, and when it comes to Nashville, I could have picked Matias Ekholm, I could have picked Ryan Ellis, but in my opinion, that value that you get at Victor Arvidsson at, what, 112 overall, he just absolutely fantastic. I think one of the most talented offensive guys in the league today, 186 points in 278 games already, is absolutely fantastic. And honestly, again, he's still young. We haven't seen the pick of what he might be. He will be one of the best players in Nashville, and right now, already is. Going on to the New Jersey Devils, and for the next pick that has played zero NHL games, my best pick for the Devils is Jack Hughes. A center at age 18, American who was drafted first overall in the 2019 NHL draft. And when it comes to New Jersey, after that 2009 NHL, or before the 2009 NHL draft, it was going pretty decent. They obviously had Adam Henrique, probably would have had if they still had him. But when it comes to their best draft pick, I had to go with Jack Hughes. That first overall pick, I think he's absolutely fantastic. Nico Hughes was definitely going to be my number two. Too, but Jack Hughes, I think in the long run, will definitely be better, even if it might not be too big of a gap. Moving on to the New York Islanders, a team that's been kind of hit and miss when it comes to their draft record. But for the past 10 years, I have Matthew Barzal. He's a center at age 22, a Canadian who was drafted 16th overall back in the 2015 NHL draft. And Barzal so far has played 166 NHL games, but in those games, he's gotten 147 points. Absolutely fantastic. And I think he was over a point per game in his first 100 uh, games, which was absolutely fantastic, too. Took a little bit of a step back this past season, especially in that second half, but he's still a fantastic player. I was tempted to put John DeBarris as the best one for them. Obviously, he ended up leaving. I didn't want to piss off Islanders fans too much, so I will go for Matthew Barzal. Moving on to the New York Rangers, the team on the other side of New York. And for my best NYR draft pick of the past 10 years, we have another player that has played zero NHL games, that being Capo Caco. He's a right winger, age 18, a finished former prospect, who was drafted second overall back in the 2019 NHL draft. And you guys know, I think Capo Caco, while it isn't too big of a gap, I think he is the best prospect in the 2019 NHL draft. Getting that second overall is a fantastic steal for the New York Rangers. I think he is the best draft pick of that. They have JT Miller there, who obviously ended up leaving. They had a couple of other decent players, but for me, Capo Caco, again, is a franchise-changing pick, kind of like Alex Turcott. But for the New York Rangers, who already have a fantastic rebuild going, Capo Caco is an excellent ad piece, and an excellent ad piece to probably a contending team as soon as next season. Moving on to the UG Melmix, a.k.a. the Ottawa Senators, where my best science pick of the past decade, I have Thomas Shabbat. He is a defenseman at age 22, a Canadian who was drafted 18th overall back in the 2015, NHL draft, and Shabbat has played 134 games at this point, getting 80 points, which is absolutely crazy. Shabbat, since he made the NHL, made an immediate impact as an offensive guy, and for the Ottawa Senators, Shabbat makes losing Eric Carlson a lot less of a blow. Let's be honest, he'll be a fantastic defenseman, and is already the best defenseman on Ottawa, and it's not even close. Moving on to the Philadelphia Flyers, where my best Flyers pick of the past decade, I have Sean Couturier. He's a center at age 26, a Canadian who was drafted 8th overall back in the 2011 NHL draft. And Couturier so far has played 578 games, and has gotten 343 games in the process. And Couturier, in the first couple of years of his career, hadn't really had that great identity. But in the past couple of years, he's gotten that identity of a fantastic defensive forward that has a lot of offense to go with. And playing of, obviously, Giroux, playing of other guys too. He's been absolutely fantastic and again was on the complete centers in the entire NHL right now. 
Moving on to the Pittsburgh Penguins, a team that's done fantastic drafting in their franchise history. And our best fans pick of the past 10 years, I have Jake Gensel. He's a left winger, age 24, an American who's drafted 77th overall back in the 2013 NHL draft. And Gensel so far has played 204 NHL games, getting 157 points. But getting him in the third round, 77th overall, is absolutely out of this world. For a guy that I think scored 40 points and 40 goals this past season, he's absolutely fantastic. And playing with guys like Sidney Crosby, also helps his cause quite a bit. Moving on to the San Jose Sharks, if we're a team that has some excellent drafting the past 10 years, my best Sharks pick over the past 10 years is Timo Meyer. He is a right winger, age 22, Swiss born, drafted ninth overall back in the 2015 NHL draft, and Timo Meyer so far has played 193 NHL games, getting 108 points. And it's officially Timo time in San Jose right now, and just in the NHL in general. Last year, he absolutely exploded offensively, and in my opinion, is one of the best offensive players in the league right now. He is so, so underrated, criminally underrated, and for San Jose, might be one of their best players, if not their best player right now. Moving on to the Stanley Cup champions, the St. Louis Blues. For my best Blues pick of the past 10 years, I have Vladimir Tarasenko. He's a right winger, age 27, Russian born, drafted 16th overall back in the 2010 NHL draft. And when it comes to Tarasenko, he's played 497 NHL games at this point, getting 418 points. And Tarasenko, obviously one of the most talented players in the NHL today. A big reason why the Blues ended up winning the Cup. An absolute monster in those last two rounds. And again, Tarasenko has been one of the best players for St. Louis in their franchise history and in the past few years maybe the best player overall. And moving on to the Tampa Bay Lightning, my second favorite team in the NHL, and honestly, picking one of these guys was just so, so hard, but my one guy is Nikita Kucherov. He's a right winger, age 26, a Russian who was drafted 58th overall back in the 2011 NHL draft, and Kucherov has played 447 NHL games up to this point, but has gotten 462 get points up to this point, which is absolutely bonkers, man. And when it comes to Tampa, obviously, you got fantastic guys like Braden Point in their last 10 years, but Nikita Kucherov, to me, was the home run pick, a heart winning trophy this this past season, absolutely fantastic year, and could challenge Connor McDavid as maybe the best player in the NHL right now. Moving on to the Toronto Maple Leafs, a team that's been a little bit hit or miss in the past 10 years when it comes to drafting, but they got a good hit in Austin Matthews, I think he's the best pick in the past 10 years. A center at age 21, an American who was drafted first overall in the 2016 NHL draft. He so far has played 212 NHL games in 205 points, and some people might say that Mitch Marner is the better pick. I don't really want to put attention to those people because they're just playing wrong. Austin Matthews is the better player. He is the better pick and could be the next captain for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I think maybe some people might say Morgan Riley might be the guy. Maybe John Tavares. But I think Austin Matthews is a leader in that locker room. And even at age 21, I think he's the next captain for Toronto. Moving on to the Vancouver Canucks, a team that's been somewhat similar to the Toronto Maple Leafs, at least draft-wise, either hit or miss, but a great hit for them has been Elias Pettersson, and it's been a hit ever since he entered the NHL. He's a center at age 20, Swedish-born player who was drafted fifth overall in the 2017 NHL draft. He so far has played 71 games in the NHL, in those games getting 66 points, and again, in this past rookie year, he was absolutely fantastic. Got the, got the Collar Trophy, which was absolutely deserved, and when it comes to Elias Pettersson, again, we have not seen the tip of the iceberg for him. Again, that peak will be nasty. Already he's one of the most talented players in the NHL and he hasn't even entered his sophomore season. Moving on to the Vegas Golden Knights, and unlike that last video, I actually will give them a pick here. And for my best Vegas Golden Knights pick, I have Cody Glass. He's a center at age 20, a Canadian who is drafted 6 overall in the 2017 NHL draft. He hasn't played an NHL game yet, but I think that will change this next season. He's so fantastic. In my opinion, one of the best prospects in the league right now. I'm personally a big fan of him. He might not get a huge opportunity in Vegas, as they're already a pretty fantastic team. But when it comes to Cody Glass, I think he's one of the next great guys in the NHL, and talent-wise, already one of the best prospect-wise. Now, advancing on to the Washington Capitals, where my best Caps pick of the past 10 years, I have Evgeny Kuznetsov. He is a center, age 27, a Russian who was drafted 26th overall back in the 2010 NHL draft. He so far has played 416 games, getting 337 points, and again, he is, skill-wise, one of the best guys in the NHL. When it comes to getting a 26th overall, that is a fantastic pick for the Washington Capitals, and again, a team that's been contending for so long, they have to somewhat hit on their later picks, and Kuznetsov was definitely that. One of the more talented guys in the NHL, skill-wise, so, so good. And again, for Washington, we'll likely be the first-line center. Wants Backstrom kind of takes that next step back.
Moving on to our last team of the video, we have the Winnipeg Jets, and for my best Jets pick of the past 10 years, I have Mark Shifley. He's a center at age 26, a Canadian who was drafted 7th overall in the 2011 NHL draft, and he so far has played 448 NHL games, getting 371 points in the process. And when it comes to Winnipeg, obviously they don't have a full 10-year draft record, unless you want to go back to Atlanta, but they have a 6-year draft record, I'm pretty sure, in Winnipeg, but it's been a pretty good one for them, obviously, getting Mark Shifley in 2011, a fantastic pick and obviously one of the leaders and best players for Winnipeg right now. The past 10 years has been a pretty solid decade for the NHL draft. As obviously I said in the worst draft picks video, there's been obviously a lot of drafts to come for the draft since 2009, but looking at the names that I mentioned in this video, there are so many fantastic players to come for the draft, especially in the past five years. It's been fantastic to see all these prospects come up and play well and be stars in the NHL today. But of course, with this video, I need to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So let me know what do you think about my pick for the best draft pick of every NHL team. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Let me know. And of course, the question on to you. What do you think is the best draft picks for your favorite NHL team? But, if you guys want some more grab videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my video on every NHL team's worst draft pick over the past decade. But, that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Again, comment down below your thoughts on my selections for the best pick for every NHL team. What you agree with, what you disagree with, let me know. And I'll see you guys next video or stream. Goodbye.